impression? Why, why yes, Money Penny. Okay, thank you. If you got it, well then Flowney. Plum and Daddy here, muchachos y muchachas. They call me the world's most notorious plumbing expert. Joining me, as always, is George McGillicuddy, the world's most belligerent and malodorous primate. How's your day going, George? Now, George, I'm all for exaggeration, but really, who's that flexible? Now, come on! Today's video is how to repair kit. All that piping underneath the sink ultimately has one goal. To take the sink water and dishwasher water out of your life forever. If you have a garbage disposal, then the dishwasher drains directly into the garbage disposal. If not, it will drain into a tailpiece right here that comes down from the sink. Water that you run into the sink drains down into these tailpieces. From the tailpieces, each will occasionally go into separate different P-traps. This is the P-trap right here. If there's a garbage disposal on one side, then there won't be a tailpiece where that garbage disposal is. Water will just go straight down into the garbage disposal and straight out the outlet pipe down into the P-trap. From the P-traps, each drain will go back into the wall through the trap adapter or this burn coat right here. And this burn coat slips on right here. And that's where it adapts over as it goes into the wall. Because we're going from one substance to another, that's typically where, why you would use this little tubular burn coat right here. Sometimes the two lines will tie in together back in the wall and sometimes they will stay two separate lines that run inside the wall. This section of the pipe is called the waste arm. The job of the waste arm pipe is to run horizontal within the wall and tie into a vertical vent that in addition to running out the top of your roof also extends into the ground and goes and ties into the sewer lines underneath your house. However, it is not necessary for each sink to have its own P-trap and separate drain line. Often plumbers will first connect the two sides of the sink together first, then only go down into a single P-trap, disappear through a single opening in the wall and into a single waste dump. The reason why every drain line has to have a P-trap is to keep sewer gases from invading your precious home. The sewer gases can't go through this water barrier, so they just meander back into the piping and are eventually dispelled out into the air where the vent goes through the roof. It's all starting to make sense now, ain't it? Why the venomous comments, George? Didn't your mama love you enough when you were a little baby orangutan? Let's continue, please. The two possible connection contraptions that tie into both sides of the sink are called either an end waste outlet or a center waste outlet. Depending on, where, on whether the P-trap has to be located in order to connect the pipe going into the wall. Now this is an end waste outlet right here. What's going to happen is that we've got two sinks. And this is the tailpiece that comes down in here. Now the reason why we would have an end, out, end waste outlet is because after the P-trap, wherever the P-trap goes into right there, it goes back into the wall, it's either going to be some place right around there that's going in, into the wall. So depending on whether what you use up here is going to be depending on where the outlet pipe is out here. There's no correct way to put together new pipes underneath the sink as long as there's a P-trap. As long as none, as none of the pipes run uphill, and as long as there are no leaks, you're probably going to be okay. The tubular size PVC, and sometimes chrome plated brass you typically see underneath sinks, are inch and a half underneath kitchen sinks, inch and a quarter underneath lavatory sinks. Chrome plated brass are those shiny metal pipes that people used before PVC was invented. Because they are prone to rust and rotting, they aren't all that popular these days. Sometimes people even use the thick PVC piping that has to be glued together. It's certainly very durable. 
True enough, but difficult to replace. Everything's all glued in together. Tubular PVC is durable and it's relatively easy to replace. That's why you'll see it in 90% of homes. Now the way the tubular PVC connects to each other is like this. Let's say that we've taken this pipe that goes in. This is where all the action takes place right here. That little gasket right there. That little gasket goes right into here and that's a little beveled edge right here. And it's just as simple as going in right there, putting the gasket up there, and then tying this thing tight. Now, whenever you tie this thing, you're going to go pretty snug. It's snug right here. I put a little, little bit of juice behind this one. But you don't have to have a wrench. We ain't going to be twisting on this thing and prove to each other who's stronger. These pipes are not under pressure. So you don't have to gorilla strength this thing. There's also plumber's putty and it's used as a sealant in particular situations. It should not be used in this situation right here. It's not to be used to keep this thing from leaking. Sometimes as plumbers we'll see all this futilely pressed around here, around the pipe. And we'll come and I say, hey plumber, the pipe's leaking. And we'll go underneath there and we'll see this right here. Now what's that going to do right there? Now come on. That's George's handiwork right here. All the magic, like I said, happens between the gasket and that little beveled edge. Once water makes its way out there, this ain't going to do nothing. Except look absolutely ridiculous. Now, fern codes like this are your friend. They connect the tubular drain piping. Don't use them on pressure water lines or you will soon be building up. Now the way a tailpiece hooks up to a sink drain is like this. We got to have a metal nut right here. Make sure that you use a metal nut. Plastic females around metal males are just asking for the plumbing guys to smite you. Oh and one more thing, after you have finished and wiped everything clean and dry, put a new paper towel underneath your wood. Run plenty of water to test everything. The paper towel will let you know if there are any drips. So we take our metal nut and put him up here. And for the tailpiece, it comes down from this sink. There's a special little gasket right there that fits on just like a hat right there. Just like George. I don't know where the hell you're graduating from. I guess dumbass university is having their graduation ceremonies today. And then this is just ties right here, right on to here. That's it. Now this particular one right here, since it's metal on metal and it ain't going to bow up on it, you can snug it a little bit with a wrench right there. It's as simple as that. This just comes down right into here. We're going to bring another one. We're going to build all kinds of stuff right here. That's going to go into that. We're going to get rid of that. That's for you. We're going to put that on top right there. Gonna snug that down. That goes right into that is fun. <laughs> it's fun right here. That's why I got into plumbing. It builds stuff. Look at all this. Looks like I know what I'm doing there. Now look at that right there. Ain't that pretty? Water just come down in here, or water come down in here. It goes all the way. Down into our end, un, end, end waste outlet, down into the pig trap, out the gish. Now that your head is filled with plumbing, sink, pipe, know how, you might be prepared to tackle this task. Just be patient, take plenty of deep breaths if you feel yourself bowing up in frustration. And of course, you're going to have to get yourself a professional to do this job if it looks like it's going to be too much. Be sure to check out the advice and tips on PlumbingDaddy.com, the internet's greatest source of expert plumbing info, if you wish to explore this and any other plumbing topic further. And of course, if you need a local, dependable, top-rated, reasonably priced plumbing company out to your house or business fast, then call the number on the screen and your plumbing problems will soon be 
just a distant memory. George, you got two cents to throw into the pot. You can sign up for some yoga there for a ball. You got some bad karma. And y'all take care now. Get plenty of rest. And go tell your mama how much you love her. Bye-bye now.